my nose is a little plugged up. So my grandma always said to clear the pipes, just take a couple laxatives. So before we came here, I just took a couple laxatives. Wait, what? That's not how those work. What? Oh no. I get my sham waddles all the time. <laughs> What's up everyone, it's Jacob. Today, Paul and I are at Punchbowl Falls. We are currently hiking right now. It's about a two mile hike in, and it's gonna be super cool. I've never been here. Paul's been here one time and he loves it. And the best part is that I think you're gonna be able to jump uh, at a few different places. And so I'll be able to do some flips. Oh wait, how big is the jump? The only downside is that right now it's like 90 degrees. And the hike isn't hard. Like on a scale from one to a biqua, it's probably like a three, but it's just hot. And we're carrying, Paul's carrying all of his gear. I have just my little camera, GoPro, some swimming shorts, water. We'll be there in maybe a few minutes. Not that bad. I mean, there's a lot of people, but it's nothing too wild. So you have to take a little bit of a hike in here. It's about two miles, I think. And today was super hot, so it was terrible. We were sweating the whole entire time. But once you get to the lower falls, which is right over on this side, over there, you can swim through like this guy, and then you come in to the falls. Paul's posted over there, taking some long exposures. I think you can jump over there, into here, oh, into there. But I don't know how deep the water is. I think it's deep enough. If not, there's this log right here. Uh, we could do a couple jumps off of that. Do you think I can get out there? Simple little rocket. I could probably do it. I like it over here because everyone hangs out at the lower part, but over here there's nobody. It's just Paul and I. And we have like a perfectly clear view of the falls. We came to a um, part where normally people can't get to and uh, I'll show you right now. Maybe if I egg him on, he'll jump, but I won't even have to test it. Jump! Jacob's trying to kill people. <laughs> the guys didn't jump off the cliff. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do it this time. Maybe if I see someone else do it. But you can jump off from right here down into the waterfall. It's about 80 feet. 85. 85. So maybe we'll do that one day next time we come back. It's pretty cold right now, so I don't think we will. But Paul's just finishing up some of his shots. And then we're going to swim back over to the lower one. And maybe I'll do some jumps over there because there's a few spots where you can jump. For now, I'll just give you guys some sweet cinematic shots. The guy she tells you not to worry about. All right guys, so I'm gonna take one more photo for Paul where I'm gonna be swimming here so we can get the waterfall in the background and then we're gonna head over to the lower part. All right, turn that way. What? Turn that way. All right guys, so we're back from the main fall over there. And now we've found a spot where you can actually jump. 
all right around here. And normally you jump from right here down into here. So Paul is taking a couple shots right now on his main camera. And then we're gonna take a couple shots on my camera of me doing some jumps and I'll get some videos of me doing some stuff too, just kind of messing around. Nothing crazy. All right guys, so I did two jumps. One was a backflip off the upper jump and then one was a front flip for a, for a photo of Paul on the lower log. And on the lower log one, for, to take when I take photos for Paul, his camera takes maybe like, what, like one photo a second. That, that, it takes faster than that, like two. One and a half. One and a half a second. And so when I jump, and I, for a photo for Paul, I have to hold the position as long as I can. And when I jumped this time, I was going for like a swan dive kind of thing. But I held it for so long that I got to the point where I was either gonna belly flop or I needed to try to do a front flip and possibly back flop. And I fell so hard on my back. And it just knocked the energy out of me. And so now we're walking back. I was gonna do like four or five jumps, but after that we just decided not to. So Paul's taking a couple shots now because the lighting here is awesome. And then head back to Eugene. I just got back home and I realized because my mom and I switched cars today, I don't have a house key. So I'm going to end the video here because I have to figure out a way to break into my house. So I hope you guys like the video and I'll see you guys next time.